Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Craig Villeen here, uh, EMP Alliance, Marketing Performance Strategist, uh, www.craigvilleenmarketing.com. How are you? It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, media, choosing the right media last. And uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you may have heard me in the past talk about the critical marketing triangle. And the critical marketing triangle nearly guarantees your success in anything that you do when you market or promote your products, services, or business in general. And that is you have the right message, the right marketing message going to the right market, target market, your your ideal prospects, customers, clients, whoever they may be, and then using the right media. And so the reason I'm talking about the media is because you know I, go, I belong to the local chamber of commerce and it's a very big one uh i have been a member for over 20 years and uh, there are ad sales reps in that uh as members in the chamber and they're wonderful people i know them very well one one in particular she lets it be known that she's there we'll just say that but i've known her for 20 21 years uh met her at toastmasters and jc's and stuff like that so uh she has a very specific personality and in, in in some ways it's very funny but one of the things she's saying in in which is correct is advertise 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 which is correct you should be advertising in some way shape or form you should be advertising with her publication, not necessarily, not necessarily. I'm not saying no, but I'm saying not necessarily. Uh, there's a lot of noise going up at the front of the house because they're repaving our street, so I apologize. Anyway, you know, one of the things that is said is that you need to advertise in my paper because we have all this reach and all this stuff, and, and that may or may not be true. But the fact is you do not choose a media because uh, the ad rep says to advertise in it. Okay, this is how we become advertising victims. We become an advertising victim when we don't do our homework and we don't know, number one, we don't know who our market really, really is. And number two, we don't know where they congregate. And number three, once we get all that right, before we even start that, it's like, what's the marketing message? What's that problem we're going to solve? What's that thing that's going to arouse curiosity, stop them in the tracks, an irresistible offer that stops them in the tracks, you know? So we need to know who we're marketing to. We know, need to know what our marketing message is. And then, only then, do we choose the right media to reach those people. And we kind of have to think about that in advance. Where do they congregate? Where, what do they read? What do they listen to? Where am I most likely to find them? And, and in many cases, you will, you don't necessarily have to advertise in the place that uh, is logical. So, for instance, a lot of financial people advertise in the sports section because a lot of their high-end clientele read about sports or they golf or they watch baseball, Dodger baseball or the Rams football or whatever. So if they're going to be reading the sports section of the LA Times, then putting your major financial ad might be a good idea in the sports section. Um, Facebook, great place to advertise. It's not for everybody, though. And it also requires a specific strategy. So unless you really know who your target market is, Facebook's not going to work for you because Facebook is the ultimate targeted uh, uh, targeted advertising tool. I apologize for all the noise in the background. There's a bunch of dump trucks up there in front of, parked in front of the house. Um, so the point is, with regards to attracting new business, new clients, new customers, new patients, you know, t media should come last, but it should be very carefully thought about. Right message going to the right target market, very specific target market, then using the right media. And if you have all three of those things in place, you have a very high chance of success. And if you ha are missing any one of those three, then you risk poor results with your marketing. So something to think about you know again you know no disrespect to uh the ad rep selling the advertising she has a job to do and that is to get advertisers to spend money with their publication but she's not a marketing expert she's not even an advertising expert um and so these are things that you have to think about in advance before i spend dollar one with that media is my target market going to be uh, they're going to see my ad in that in that publication. Number two, can I get a return on investment? Do I have a strategy to get a return on investment from the money that I'm going to spend in that ad? Right. So, 
let's just say it costs two hundred and fifty dollars to advertise in that publication, you know, am I going to make that two hundred and fifty back right away, or do I have a strategy to do it, you know, over a short period of time? So, uh, you know, through upsells, cross sells, or the lifetime value of a customer. I don't know why the light keeps on changing here. <laughs> anyway. So think about those things. Definitely make sure you have a call to action in your ad, whatever media that you use uh, to, to measure the success of that ad to make sure that it pays for itself. Are the people that I want to do business with most that I can serve and help and make an impact on, are they reading, watching, listening, attending, you know, the media that I am using? So. Uh, I think I've made my point. So I'm trying to find good lighting here. I don't know if I'm even in good lighting. But anyway, it's all vanity. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. So again, the critical marketing triangle, right message going to the right target market, very specific target market, using the right media. And again, media is always chosen last because if we know those other two things, then we're going to find the right media to get that message to in the fastest way possible and the best way possible. So that's it. For today, I'm Craig Valeen, Marketing Performance Strategist, founder of EMP Alliance. And if uh, someone could just type in uh, craigvalenemarketing.com, that's where you can find me. Uh, and if you have any comments, please leave them below. And if you found this video valuable, maybe you'll share it as well. So that's it for now. Have a fantastic day. Bye now.